What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're going to install our performance air intake system on your 2016 plus Ford Focus RS. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include four millimeter Allen key, seven, eight, and 10 millimeter sockets, quarter inch drive ratchet, driver and extension, 10 and 12 millimeter box end wrench, a panel tool, and a flathead screwdriver. Installation time is under 30 minutes. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. Locate the hardware and brackets included with your kit. Seven of the bolts, along with the plastic washers, will secure the lid to the air box. Each of the brackets will be secured with a bolt, lock washer, and metal washer. Each of the studs will be secured with a long bolt, lock washer, and metal washer. Install one of the supplied mounting studs to the bottom of the air box using a bolt, lock washer, and flat washer. Leave the bolt loose for now. Locate the mounting bracket in your kit with a round cutout. Install this bracket to the air box just below the air inlet duct. The tab on this bracket will fit into a slot on the air box. Tighten this bolt completely. Locate the long bracket in your kit. Install this bracket to the side of the air box next to the lower air inlet duct. Install one of the supplied mounting studs to the bottom of the long bracket. Leave this bolt loose for now. Locate the mounting bracket in your kit with an elongated slot. Install this bracket inside the lower air inlet duct as shown here. Leave the bolt loose for now. At this point, the airbox assembly should look like this. Disconnect the rubber shrouds that secure the air inlet ducts to the radiator support. Separate the tree clip that secures the harness to the airbox and disconnect the harness from the sensor. Remove the engine cover by lifting it directly upward. The cover is held in by four pegs and grommets. Disconnect the vacuum hose from the vacuum pump. To release the hose, depress the gray tab and pull the hose off the port. Then separate the vacuum hose from the intake tube. The hose is held on by a rubber grommet and a cable clip. Remove the bolt, nut, and stud that secure the intake tube to the valve cover. Loosen the two worm gear clamps that secure the lower intake tube to the airbox and upper intake tube. Then remove the lower intake tube. Separate the airbox from the vehicle by lifting it upward. The airbox is held in with three studs and grommets. Loosen the clamp that secures the upper intake tube to the turbocharger. This clamp is difficult to see, but using a seven millimeter socket on a small ratchet will make quick work of it. Separate the upper intake tube from the turbocharger. Lift it off the mounting studs and rotate it to access the hose connection on the back of the tube. Disconnect this hose by squeezing the knurled tabs. Remove the upper intake tube from the vehicle. Rotate the tube as you lift it out for easy clearance. Remove the coupler from the turbocharger inlet. Locate the silicone induction hose and the large worm gear clamps in your kit. The smaller clamp installs to the turbo end of the hose and the larger clamp installs to the induction pipe end. Make sure to install the clamp on the turbocharger end of the hose so it will be accessible when the hose is installed. Install the induction hose to the turbocharger inlet. Leave the clamp loose for now. 
Install the larger worm gear clamp to the induction hose. Slide it down the hose and snug the clamp just to keep it in place while you assemble the rest of the intake. Remove the rubber mounting peg from the stock airbox and transfer it to the Mishimoto airbox. Remove the sensor from the stock airbox by twisting it counterclockwise 90 degrees and pulling it straight out. Remove the air inlet ducts from the stock airbox. Install the lower air inlet duct to the Mishimoto airbox. Lift the bracket you installed earlier and slide the inlet duct into the airbox. Position the bracket so the tab sits inside the groove on the air inlet duct and then snug the bolt by hand. We'll go back and adjust this later. Install the sensor to the Mishimoto induction pipe. Note that there is a raised section on the lip of the sensor bung which retains the tab on the sensor. Lower the Mishimoto airbox into place, but do not engage the mounting pegs yet. Lift the rubber shroud and seat the lower air inlet duct inside. Remove the cable clip from the stock intake tube and transfer it to the Mishimoto induction pipe. Remove the metal insert and rubber grommet from the stock intake tube and transfer it to the bracket included with your kit. Then install the bracket to the Mishimoto induction pipe with the included bolt as shown here. Leave the bolt loose for now. Remove the remaining metal inserts and grommets from the stock intake tube and transfer them to the last bracket in your kit. Set this bracket aside for now. Install the Mishimoto induction pipe. Slip the pipe into the silicone induction hose first. Connect the hose to the port on the back of the induction pipe by pushing it on until it clicks. Then tilt the airbox towards the fender and lower the intake pipe into place. Install the last bracket over the stud on the valve cover. Turn the induction pipe to line up the bolt holes and thread in the provided bolts. Install the plastic stud and nut that you removed earlier. Line up the bracket on the driver's side with the hole in the valve cover and reinstall the original bolt. Install the air inlet duct to the airbox. Push the airbox down to engage the mounting pegs and secure the air inlet ducts with the rubber shrouding. Tighten the bolts that secure the lower air inlet duct and both mounting studs. Secure the vacuum line to the induction pipe and reconnect it to the vacuum pump. Tighten the bolt that secures the bracket to the induction pipe. Reconnect the sensor. Adjust the position of the silicone tube and tighten the clamp that secures it to the turbocharger. Then tighten the clamp that secures the induction pipe to the silicone tube. Tighten the bolts that secure the bracket to the induction pipe. Then tighten the nut and stud and secure the bracket to the valve cover. Tighten the bolt that secures the driver's side bracket to the valve cover. Lower the air filter into the air box and slide it over the induction pipe. Tighten the clamp on the filter to secure it to the induction pipe. Install the air box lid and secure it with the seven bolts and washers. Reinstall the engine cover. 
Now that you've got the intake installed, it's time to head out and enjoy that newfound performance. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.